Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So, the last episode, the Night Gaunts took on uh, some of the uh, Eastern Warlords units moving to the front to attack us. We put the um, the uh, Dragon's Rejects and our Militia unit back at our main base because we thought that's where they were headed. But we haven't found their main unit yet. And then one of our outlying bases went dark. So we're sending the Dragon's Rejects over here to find out what's going on. We don't know if this is their main force or what this is. Um, could just be something simple like the transmitters went down, but it's Understood. unlikely. So we're going to just move up, find out what's going on. Um, I don't know if it'll be the uh, opposing force's main unit or not, but we're going to move up and just check and see if that's the case. Now I left the Clint behind this time and brought the Wolfhound with us just for some extra laser firepower plus I don't want to do any splash damage to our base if we're facing the enemy I want to be able to get some direct fire save as many of our buildings as we possibly can alright um, can we get we can get down right here okay good got it Okay, there's our turrets. All right, let's move you down as well. Copy that. And let's bring the fire starter over here. On my way. The wolfhound over here. Affirmative. I'm gonna bring you down the center. And then we'll bring. Let's bring you into scout. Um, Let's just shoot into here. Well, see if we can pick anybody up. No, well, so far still all quiet. All right, let's get in the trees. Bring our heavy hitters in to here. Red alert status. They got their defenses f fully primed. Well, looks like they've taken the base. All right, well, we're going to need to deal with these guys pretty quickly. In infantry suppression turret. A whole bunch of machine guns and vehicle flamers. LRM-5s. Ultra Auto Cannon 2. Shredder turret. I think the Shredder turret's probably the deadlier of the bunch, but let's put ourselves in the trees here. Uh, I'm going to bring the, you up this way. Gonna put the AMS on overload. Maybe we can soak up some of those uh, SRMs and LRMs. If we run a little bit hot, we're okay with that. It's just turrets, so. Uh, and then we want to bring you. Uh, I'm gonna pull you back. Just pull back here. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So your AMS is up and running. Uh, we got to kill this SRM-6 turret. So... Let's get into here. Mm -hmm. We're just walking over these buildings because we know there's enemy infantry in it. We're trying to squash them before they can get a shot at us. <laughs> Let's fire on this turret. Yeah, I'm really glad I brought the uh, Wolfhound again. It does have a sig significant amount of firepower. Um, let's move into here. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna forget about this flamer slash machine gun turret for now. Probably a bad idea, but we're gonna go after this guy again. Uh, let's leave that off. Confirmed. Is that enough? No. Good damage, though. That hit something good. What do you need? Okay, we can use you. Now, this is the quad gun. Ultra Auto Cannon 2. Uh, you got the LRM-5s, right? Yeah, you're the LRM-5 turret, so...
Not so worried about getting shot in the back by that turret. It's at close range, so it's going to have a hard time hitting. It's within the, uh... God, sorry guys. It's within the range of the, um... Let's go incendiary on this. Um, the minimum range, so... Be hard to hit us. Let's go after this turret. Yeah, man. One less turret. Such a difference in firepower between Orders? the two playthroughs. You know what I mean? On my way. Double time. This is a actually just so you know, this is a one and a half skull blackout mission. Um, but the firepower the difference between this playthrough and, and the clan playthrough is through is huge. Firing. Nice. And the worst part about it too is the clan playthrough. It costs us more. Standing by. Uh, it costs us more to um, in upkeep for that playthrough than it does for this one. Just simply because we got clan parts, right? All right, let's shred this turret. Ooh, not enough, eh? Target's taking a critical hit. I'm only taking this because it probably has better accuracy against everybody than the other turret. Uh, can we get closer? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's use incendiary. See ya. That turret is gone. Okay, did we get any of those missiles with the wolf out? Got nine of them. Holy crap. Yeah, what can I do you for? I was going to get him to start moving forward, but... He's fast enough, so we can just go after this guy. Right here. Mm -hmm. Like the walk distance on this is crazy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm going. Yeah, we'll found. You know, I'm. I'm not. I'm up in the air with the wolfhound because it runs hot, but the damn thing is a good mech. You can't deny it. That's enough. Beautiful. One less turret. Looks like I'm those turrets were hacked, were they? What's up, boss? I don't know. I think you should still be forced to occupy the turret, though. Can you move up here? Moving out. You know. Yeah, it could be a computer system. Yeah. That's that's operating the turret for Love sure, it. but I think you should still need to be physically operating it. Yes, Commander. I mean, I guess the technology is good enough at this point. It's like 20, Copy that. 20, 30, 62, I think it is. I, I started at. So technology should be good yes, enough. Commander. I copy. I always thought, like, you know, Battletech starting at, like, 3025 with all the old mechs and all that stuff. And the, and the uh, you know, the loss in technology over time and all that. I, I used to think that was a really cool uh, kind of premise for everything. You know, so that's why I figured you'd still need, like, you know, manned units inside turrets and stuff like that. On it. But, you know, at this point in time with all the new techno well, not new technology, but old technology brought back, you know, all that would go away and get proper computer systems again, proper targeting systems again, and... Alrighty. Let's move. Gonna play this like, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Piece of cake. Yep. I copy. Get the headser up on the high ground, I think. You gonna I'm stay going. with the headser? Provide some infantry support. Okay, so if I thought this base was gonna fire at us, what would I do? I'd put you here. 
to watch the road. I'll do what I can. The trebuchet. Ooh. Okay. I still gotta move that heck up. Like, On the move. I figured that they would be uh, not dropping anybody in. Doesn't look like it's too much down there. Um. Yeah, we'd just be going down the road here. I would probably sit you in here. Roger that. Position confirmed. And the Hatsu would probably go in the trees if I could get it in there. Wow. Oh, this is the galleon. It's providing support. All right. So that's kind of where I would go, I guess. Let's hit him hard. All right, let's see what we're up against here. We got a ripper, a fire starter, a bulldog, and a locust. Really, at one and a half skulls. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Somebody's got bombs. Fucker. Commander. What do you think? You can shred that ripper for me. Move order confirmed. I know he's already gone. I probably shouldn't shoot him, but. Let's get him out of our backside here. If we can. Ooh, laser's hit. Nice. See ya. Look at that. Oh, that's our, that's, never mind, that's our building. Sorry about that. Receiving you. Alright, get up on the hill for some firepower. Let's move. Now, is that a regular fire starter? Uh, I think so. Let's mess him up. Let's mess him up good. Short range missiles gone. Commander. That's all right. Can we not. Okay, there we go. Yep. Didn't think we could get a target on the uh, fire starter from where we were, but that's good. We can just kind of go over the hill a little bit here. Shoot at this guy. He's the only guy that's moved, so... Give it to him, Ooh, there goes his leg. I think. Going down. Beautiful. I'm interested to see what this will... How this uh, blackout will play at uh, higher levels. Yep. If it'll be one lance that comes in, or if we're facing more lances at the beginning. Moving fast. Uh, vehicle. We'll go with the incendiaries and fire. Technology. Yeah, the difference in firepower is so noticeable. Hey, Rusty. Yeah, Commander. Get that galleon up here. I think you can shoot that, uh... Let's get into here. Let's move. Might be able to shoot the, um... The fire starter in the head. 17 left in the torso, eh? Take a pot shot for his head. Alright, whatever. Groin shot. Good enough. I can't believe at one and a half skulls Way that is the, uh response that we get. Wow, he's out of range. Okay. Acknowledged. Bring the AC-20 in. Crap. Come on, bail out. What does this bulldog have? Two AC2s, two SRM4s. I think he's probably the threat, so let's hit him hard. Oof, not so much of a threat anymore. And stay down. Yeah. There's your target. Bolt-on tandem rockets. And a pair of machine guns and a bolt-on AMS, eh? Here you 
go. Not gonna help you against pulse lasers. Ready for order. Let's get them. Roger that. Aye, aye. Yep, liking the loadout in that guy too. I think this actual lance is actually fairly well rounded, with the exception of we don't have any really like long range firepower, but that's fine. We got speed, so we can close really easy. Didn't look like he hit too many of those. <laughs> Zero from 40 hit. <laughs> oh, that's got to be painful. Ready for orders. All right, let's get up here. What do you got left? Not a whole lot. One leg gone though. Let's go after his leg. Firing a full salvo. Wow. Ready for orders. Roger that. Mess him up. Mess him up good. Then go down. Ooh, right leg gone. Beautiful, we got him. Good shooting. Oh, that guy's dead. There it is, folks. Mission so that was not the main force. Alright, well we didn't hit the main force in that blackout mission, but um, there was uh, reports of another unit moving out in the open here, so we had the dra Dragon's Rejects kind of wheel around, and we're going to take these guys on. I have no idea if this is the main force or not. Uh, but we definitely don't want these guys running out in the open here. So we're going to go ahead Commander. and move up. Now we've got a fire starter up here um, that we've spotted. Now it could be lure luring us into a trap. So I want to kind of maneuver in a way that it's going to put us in a good advantage here. Now we want to get the fire our um, wolfhound up a little farther, I think. How far can we get up here? Let's get into cover. See if we can spot anybody else. And we're going to leave the AMS on normal until we determine if there's if the enemy has uh, long range missiles or not. Okay, we can't see anybody else yet. So this is a is a uh, one and a half skull battle too, just to see what we can get for uh, enemies. I'm interested to see what kind of um, what kind of enemies we can possibly get at this rating? Oh, Helopolis. Okay, well. Alright, possibility for some uh, some serious combat here. Gonna fire these two. Doesn't cost me anything. So we need to spread out. What we need to do. We need to spread out. Standing by. Um, not that far. Let's get into here. Holiday. Get that front armor facing him. Take a pot shot. Engaging with target. Let him know we see him. Oh, what's that? Centurion, maybe? Firing like it's a centurion. No. Swordsman. Okay. Interesting. Commander. Let's stay in the trees. I'm not going to bother firing this turn. Roger that. I want to get up here and kind of fan out across here if we can. Okay, he's pushing forward. Oh, he's got rockets. Okay. Reporting minimal damage. Got rockets, do you? Do you? Need? need you to move up. That's what I need. All right, full speed. Take some shots at the swordsman, I think, because well, fourteen percent. What's the other guy? Twenty-nine on the fire starter. I don't think that guy's moved yet. Let's take some shots at this guy. 
Uh, let's go standard. Okay, pepper him with a couple hits. We're gonna send the, um... Oh yeah, he hadn't moved yet. Oof, could have been bad. We're gonna send the Hetzer over there to attack the, uh... Receiving you. Fire starter. We have tons of ammo on the Hetzer. It's not the ideal conditions for the Hetzer to be running in, but... We got lots of ammo, so I might as well just use it. One thing I do like about the vehicles, they do generally carry a lot of ammo. Oh, we got another one up here. Flea, okay. So that was the one that probably moved first last time. Ooh, Rusty, you're pretty quick. Good to go. Gotta get that Helopolis down. Is there a way we can get a... There we go. Solid red lines are better. Piece of cake. Means he's not partially obscured. Um, I think we're going to go all out of them to start. I'm going to hold on to those incendiaries, though. Looks like the barrage hit. Alright, a little bit of damage. SRMs are all gone, Commander. That's alright. Yeah, Commander. See if we can make this guy sweat a bit. Come up behind him. Everything I got. Yeah, man, that's pretty good. Pretty good damage. Ignore his cover. <laughs> <laughs> Love that laugh. I'm listening. Are ya? You sure you are? Cause I want you on that Helopolis. I know we're bunching up here, but we're gonna push this guy, I think. And push him hard. Here you go. Okay, not bad. Ooh, head hit. Standing by. Licking that. Can we get... We can get a Holopolis shot from here. Not ideal, though. We're in the open. Gonna take it. Because we do want to be on this guy as much as we possibly can. Alright, firing. firing on okay, one of the mediums hit. Bunch of the rockets hit. Nice. Or missiles, sorry. Oof. Got an AC-5 on there. Good shot, though. Yep. Let's move. We're all bunched up here, but like I said, we gotta get this guy. I'm going to switch to incendiary on him, because he's already pretty warm. Uh, we don't have incendiary ammo for the SRMs, so... Plus 20 heat, nice. Yeah, you know what to shoot at. I think he's got rocket packs. Barely his commander. Orders? Get in there and mess him up. Mess him up good. Standard ammo. Well, you're scaring the hell out of him. Repeat negative damage. Scaring the hell out of him though. Oof, that could have been terrible. We got lucky on him. Oh, and he shut down. Somebody's going to be getting a lot of headshots the next turn. Ready for orders. Everyone's just going to line up on his head. Um, can we get to a position where that swordsman can't see you? I think here is probably the best place. Moving out. I don't want him being shot at with that AC. Ooh, nice shooting though. On. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Galleon proving its worth. Mm-hmm. 
And some fire to the fire starter, are ya? Yeah. Yeah. Buddy, tank got no. Tank got no startup. Let's go okay. take his head. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Think we can take his head? Sure as hell gonna try. Lock in Fucking spread it around, why don't you? Yeah. I'm not going to sprint. It's going to give us an issue. We sprint. Going to keep with the incendiaries. Go after his head again. Sniper artillery crit. Destroyed his Serum 6. Oof. That guy's got a good friggin' targeting system. Receiving you. Uh, let's get to... Can we get to the other side? We can't get to the other side of the Helopolis, because he's got, um... Ah, he's got so much damage. If we try and go after this torso, though, we might be able to keep the sniper. I don't know, man. It's like a tricky, uh... It's tricky and iffy. Oh shoot, I'm inside. Am I inside the barrage? Oh, I'm just on the outside. He's gonna take a barrage, so let's go after this guy. I'm gonna put the. Ah, man, do we? You know what? Gonna heat him up. See if we can get him to bail. SRMs are gone. Nope. Oh, crap. Aye aye. All right. Well. On my way. Double time. I want to try and get some parts from that thing. It'd be nice to use that as an artillery mech instead. Let's kill this guy. See ya. One less target. That's why you don't pilot a flea into the middle of like f four medium max almost. They're flanking. Come on. Send me a Oh, you got ten with the AMS. That's impressive. Ready for orders. Is this gonna be as bad as I think it is? Sure is. Confirmed. You want to play the back game? Oh, yeah. oh you missed, damn it. See, 37% though, like, it's such a low chance to hit, you know? Okay, both those guys took the damage. That guy's like, look at him! He's glowing! Uh, Commander? He is freaking glowing. On my way! Nope, he's bailing is what he is. <laughs> oh, we got lucky with that. <laughs> I think I hit something good. I think he got I don't know, I think he got yeah. insulted by me laughing at him. At least that's what it seems like. But he was glowing. I mean you guys saw it. All right, shred this guy's side. Ooh, head hit. Yes, Commander. Don't shoot me in the back again, Copy you bastard. That. How hot are we? Pretty darn hot. Let's just drop all the lasers and fire the uh, missiles. Work on that stability damage. That's gonna hurt. Nice. It's got no evasion left. Yep. Yeah, if we're gonna move up, might as well stay in the trees. 
I'll do what I can. Now, uh, what are you looking at for heat? Still okay. You know what? We're gonna use the incendiary anyway. Roger. Oof. See ya. Mech destroyed. Did not expect that. Uh, that's interesting. It's like so many ticks of one damage. Well, you're at point blank now, Bubba. 63. <laughs> His core is like halfway down there now. Ah, oh, well. Mission successful. Well, still not the main force. It's kicking around somewhere. We'll find it. Well, there's the Holopolis, 75 tons. <sighs> Large laser, sniper artillery, we'll take that. Now do we have sniper ammo? Ah, we better hope we get that in the roll. Yeah, we got zero sniper ammo. I mean, I guess we could pull off, I don't know. We could get the Clint and pull the, uh, Short range to sawed off thumper off that thing. All right, we got a fleet part, fire starter part, AC5, heavy flamers, large laser Toronto. This is the shit one, right? Yeah, more heat. Let's just ditch it. Small cockpit can go. 215 core. Primitive fire control systems can go. I can ditch the heat. This is where I thought I had all the heat sinks. All right. Those guys can go. Standard cooling. Oh, we got the sniper ammo. Well, that's nice. Okay, cool. All right, let's get in the mech bay real quick. I want to see what that uh, Holopolis has got in store for us. Now, storage. Uh, I know it's a it's an, an old mech, but uh, let's go ahead and ready this guy. That mech you wanted is back online. Okay, now... Not really concerned about what we get from this, because we do have the sniper artillery piece. Although it does come with the uh, sniper artillery piece already attached. That's beautiful. Primitive engine. Uh, we need a standard engine. I don't think I have one. Did I keep one? I don't think I kept one. Oh, we did. That's that's standard cooling though. Shoot, I didn't keep a standard engine. Uh, 240 core is the biggest we have. Um, I think the armor is probably okay for now. I don't think we need to go much higher, although we may want to go... Let's do this. And go one, two, three, and then four. We'll redistribute it to the arm to protect it a little more. Um... It's already at 800,000. It's got primitive armor. We can put ferro in it. We can put endo steel in it. 1.2 million. <laughs> Jesus. Goes up so fast, man. Um, fire control system missile. Too bad this is not a missile launcher. That's just missile range, though. IFF... IFF jammer mark 2 we probably want to stick that in there uh, this can go though we could just sell that I think um, standard heat sink cooling we need at least one more heat sink in there might as well take a broken one and fix it um, what else do we need in here heat bank well, how much heat is this generating heat 30 we may, we may want a heat bank in here. Well, this is just what? Minus 8 heat per turn. 30% resistance to heat damage taken. I mean, it's a stopgap for now until we can get a double heat sink kit, I think. Uh, but we got lots of, like, lots of weight left. So we put two of these in. Pair those two. 
for now. Let's actually grab another one, drop it in. You know, if we max the armor out... I mean, yeah. We might as well. And then we need a secondary. So we got a sniper. We need ammo. That's the thing we are missing here. Ammo. Um, it's at the bottom here. It's the thumper sniper ammo. We got two tons. Uh, let's put it in this this side. Then I think we should probably go and grab the ooh bolt on AMS. I wonder if that's better. Uh, let's grab. We got two MRM thirties. We do. Could you imagine? Not happening. But it'd be kind of cool. Um, ATM six pirate. Oof. I got to get familiar with what we got here. I think, honestly, I think I should probably sell these two MRM-30s because I think I got them off of the very first mission that I did when I was recording. And it, the recording, I, it was one of those things where it's like, I click to record and I double click. So it starts and stops. And then I think I'm recording and I don't think to look in the corner to make sure it's going. And then it's like, I go to end it and it says recording started. And I'm like, what the fuck? Anyway. The very first episode of this series ended up that way. We faced Urban Max. Um, I don't know if the IFF jammer is better. Two to enemy sensor checks. If we're st what's the range on this guy? It's like ridiculous, right? Yeah. I mean, it just stands there and shoots at long range. But maybe I should put an AM. Like if we're going to move it forward, it's pretty darn slow. The AMS might be better. Or maybe we leave the heat bank off. And go with the IFF jammer and a bolt on AMS. That might be the way to go, I think. And then as far as other weapons go... Uh, where is the... Um, ATM-6 Pirate. What's the jam chance? 5% mitigator by gunnery. Recoil of 2. Yeah, we got to replace all the fire control systems, the cockpit. Because it's all primitive. This is the same problem we had with the Archer when we first got it. So, um, if we go ATM-6, we could go with an LRM-SRM load. Or an LRM MRM load. Maybe. If we do this. What do we have for ammo? Do we have MRM ammo? Let's probably just click here, eh? LRM, we got lots of LRM ammo. And we do have MRM ammo. But wow, I don't want to use a double. But it's only incendiary if we put a half ton of incendiary in. 100 shots, so that would last forever for half a ton. And then uh, LRM, we have we have a half ton of LRM incendiaries. We could make this an incendiary boat too, like... Or a Magpulse, maybe. That's a possibility. Or Thunder? No, because we'll be hitting it with hitting Suffer Sniper and destroying the Thunder. Chaff, maybe? Accuracy is reduced. Sight reduced by 10%. Sensor strength reduced by 40% for two turns. Yeah, I think we go with Chaff instead. So that's what's, that's like five turns of Chaff, right? 60 shots, isn't it? Yeah, 60 shots, so five turns of Chaff. So that's actually not bad. But we do need more heat sinks now because our heat sinking has dropped significantly here. So let's grab, actually, you know what? Let's go to internals. Sorry, guys, I'm going to finish off this mech for this episode. So if you guys want to bail, if you don't want to watch me put it together, feel free. Um, missile range. 
Uh, I'm going to drop that in for now. Spiked helmet I'm going to drop in because it's saving us weight. Every time I drop something in, it saves us weight, right? Um, we need to get a regular engine. At some point in the future, I'll have to remember to do that. I hope I remember to do that. And then let's grab some more heat sinks here. Two, three... Oh, we're out of slots. Because of course we are. What if we pull the Pharaoh off? And then we can go with... Uh, it's not changing anything in the weight-wise, so if we just leave that off, then we can just kind of go... Put that back in. I mean, we could drop... A little bit of armor, especially back armor. And then we can drop some off the center. I think that's good. So we got three tons left over. What's our heat sinking doing right now? 39, 39. We probably want um, at least one more heat sink. Maybe two. Uh, we don't really have anything else internal-wise that we want to add. Beagle probe was it's kind of useless at this range. Um, what if we drop in a backup laser of some kind? We've got pirate mediums. That's like a lot of heat, though. And we don't have... we we got a narc launcher, don't we? But we'd be out of range with the narc launcher, though. That's the thing, right? Fluid gun. What's the range? 420 meters. That's better off on a different type of mech. I mean, maybe we could switch out the... AT ATM-6 is one and a half, right? Tons? We could go with an LRM-10 instead. <sighs> Wish we had like a tag or a tagger or something, but we don't. Bolt-on tandem rockets. These are kind of cool. It's like times three, right? Um, mine dispenser. We could throw a mine dispenser on. Ammo for a single attack. Now this doesn't jam, does it? Um, may fire ground units within 600 meters, minus 4 accuracy. So it's basically, this thing is the best when using indirect fire mode. Recoil of 4. It's pretty heavy. Uh... Yeah, so maybe we just drop a medium laser on the arm for now. This is a backup weapon. We got another spot in the head, too. We could drop a small in there, too. What's the range of the heavy flamers? That's a lot of heat, though. It's 240 meters. It's pretty shit. 180 for a normal flamer. Yeah, I think we put... This thing's way too heavy. Wish I had a medium pulse, or a medium X pulse. But no, I think we go this route and add another heat sink, I think. Gonna leave them all in this torso because if this dies, you know, then the, and if this torso goes and this weapon's gone and we don't need them anymore anyway, right? Because this is our heat generator right here. Okay, well, I don't think it's too bad for an artillery mech. We've got some support in the way of heat damage and um, chaff for scrambling the enemy's sensors and chance to hit. Medium laser is a backup weapon. Most likely we'll be meleeing at that point anyway if things happen. Yeah, we'll go this route, I think. 1.152... If we can get a primitive engine, we're going to be saving a lot. It's 2.3 tons. The standard engine, I think, 
will give us the 2.3 tons back. I should just be keeping a, you know, a standard engine around just in case we find a mech like this. I should have learned my lesson from the backyard bandits. I always had a couple of them lying around. All right, well, we're going to go this route. I know we're using up a lot of our sea bills, but this is going to greatly increase our play here. Now, we've got an issue. Probably it's one or more locations that are destroyed. Yes, we've already repaired them, though, so we're good to go, right? Yeah, so confirm. 67 days. That's fine. About two and a half months from now, it'll be in service and we'll be ready to wreck face. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put the Hitman out of service. I don't think we're going to be going back to this guy. It's got a Guardian ECM, Narc Launcher with a Sticky Bomb. We never got a chance to use that, so maybe I'll leave it in play. We'll get a chance to use the Sticky Bomb. We never got... We'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll use it on a lighter mission, I think. And then we'll put it in... Um, we'll put it in storage. Switch these two guys around. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about the Lotus of the uh, Helopolis? Let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later.